Ethnic Armenians in Azerbaijan's breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh agreed to a Russian proposal for a ceasefire on Wednesday. It came 24 hours after Azerbaijan began an offensive to take control of the enclave that killed dozens and injured hundreds. Under the ceasefire agreement, effective from 1 p.m. on Wednesday, separatist forces were to disband and disarm. Separatists running the self-styled Republic of Artsakh said they'd been forced to agree to Azerbaijan's terms after Baku's army broke through their lines and seized a number of strategic locations while, they said, the world did nothing. An Azerbaijan Defense Ministry spokesman on Wednesday confirmed it had reached agreement on a ceasefire with ethnic Armenian forces. The outcome would appear to pave the way for Azerbaijan to integrate around 120,000 ethnic Armenians into its society. The ministry released this video claiming it shows Armenian forces escaping from trenches in Nagorno-Karabakh. Reuters was not able to independently verify the location or the date the video was recorded or the veracity of the Azerbaijani claims. Armenia, which says it has no military forces in Karabakh, despite Azerbaijani assertions, did not intervene militarily. Speaking on Wednesday, President Vladimir Putin said Russia expects to achieve a peaceful settlement of the situation in Karabakh. In video released earlier on Wednesday, Russian peacekeepers were seen helping to evacuate civilian ethnic Armenians to temporary accommodation. Azerbaijan began its operation against Nagorno-Karabakh on Tuesday after some of its troops were killed in what Baku said were attacks from the mountainous region, which Azerbaijan had blockaded for nine months. Azerbaijan on Wednesday held a funeral for one of its soldiers killed in recent clashes. The death of Seymour Mahmudov may have been the trigger for the military operation. Talks on the future of the region and the ethnic Armenians who live there were due to start on Thursday.